Hi everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to the channel and we are going to talk about the SHIB price. So if you caught my late night update last night, you would know that we are back up here today. We're going to talk about that little price increase, why I bought more last night at that, uh, that, at that specific level. And uh, if we get back down there, I'll be adding again because we're seeing uh, some support down there and uh, we bounced right off it. So we're going to get into that. Uh, we're taking a look at the heat map here on coin market cap right here. Bitcoin down 1.5%, Ethereum down 2.46%, and ADA down 3%, down to $1.25. That's a good time to hop into ADA. Down here in the meme category, we see uh, Doge, Shiv, and SafeMoon in the top three in dominance levels. All three of those down a little bit here too. All right, but let's pop into the SHIB chart. So here we go. This was late last night during my update. See down here the 6-7 level, 6-8 level. This is where I added onto my position. Look at this big green candlestick and we're back up here here today at the 7-1 level. And as I mentioned, yesterday we were we were hovering right at this level. I said I'm waiting because if we dip down to that uh, you know those 067 levels, which we did. Here's the 24-hour low 0672. That's when I want to add to the position did that and now we're back up into the 07 levels. So we've seen that if we take this back out here and these are 30, 30 minute sticks, let's go out to one hour instead so we can see this a little bit better. So, all right, we'll come way out here. We could see this was a nice uh, level here that we've, we've been bouncing off of more than once, okay? Now, when we do go lower, and this is when I'd said, uh, when I would load the boat, if you will, down to these five, five levels, see down here, and uh, these are the two levels, the 06 and the 05 levels that we have not uh, went lower than, okay? So those are the two levels watching very closely. We've only been down to these 05 levels a couple times uh, in the past uh, month or so, uh, but we have touched this 06 level a few times. Uh, here's a, here it is again, right down in here. Oh, actually this didn't even, oh yeah, it, did. it barely broke to the 06 levels at this time here. And uh, so, I uh, had a feeling that it would get back down there, and it did. That's what I added on, and now we're bouncing right back up. And uh, so we're waiting on the next big catalyst, and we've got a couple looming, okay? So here's an article by FX Street, who does a really good job covering SHIB. So this says, Shiba Inu virtual party may lead to a 50% breakout after the Shiba Swap launch. Of course, right now we're in the middle of the 14-day liquidity event, which uh, started uh, on the 6th. So we're eight days in. We've got six days left of the Shiba Swamp 14-day liquidity event. Of course, uh, the 20th is also the date that we will have uh, the virtual party. So uh, we'll take a look at uh, some of the things they highlight here in the article. Uh, they mentioned a recently launched Shiba Dex is a key factor in making or breaking the meme coin, which a lot of success there. Certic Audit came back, everything checked out. Uh, so piggybacking off the meme coin hype and successful launch of Shiba Swamp Dex, Shiba Inu, was among the plethora of dog coins that spawned during the recent bull run. These coins siphoned popularity from the old meme coins, Dogecoin. Uh, really, the, the old meme coin itself, Dogecoin, which is down like 37%, by the way, in the past month. But SHIB was the one that made it out alive after the massive crash on May 19th. And again, it says, while well, piggybacking off the hype around meme coins, uh, got it through the door. Celebrity endorsements pushed SHIB into toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dogecoin. Uh, I forgot about Meek Mill. Remember that? That uh, he tweeted, I'm about to buy some Shiba Inu coins. Uh, and then uh, we've also got some other celebrity like figures backing Shiba Inu. Kai Green, who recently started the Grapefruit coin. I don't know how many people invested in that already, but uh, I don't even know if there's a connection there between Shib and the Grapefruit coin. But Shaitoshi follows it on Twitter. Uh, so there's that. But uh, Elon Musk, of course, has mentioned Shiba Inu in some of his tweets, which has created uh, short-term spikes in the price as well. But this says, unlike most DEXs, ShibaSwap underwent a full audit by Certic, which adds credibility okay, to the launch and potentially explains the massive TVL. However, uh, Twitter user Bantag pointed out the DEX could easily pull the rug on its user. Now, this came out July 6th. And of course, there's always FUD. Shaitoshi's done a great job of squashing the FUD. He says, minimum viable Shiba Swap rug. All liquidity can be easily stolen by a single address. Why did people put over $120 million in it again? Well, it's way over that now. It is $1.5 billion. And I don't think this will happen. But of course, you're always going to have people uh, talking about the potential of this when it comes to community coins. 
At the time of the writing, the TVL is still hovering around 1.5 billion. Three new pairs added uh, just a couple days ago. We talked about those in some recent updates. While these developments are crucial, the retail is mostly anticipating the virtual event on July 20th. And I myself, I think a lot of others, yes, while the virtual event is a big deal, coming up on the 20th, I think most people are really um, waiting for these big exchanges to add SHIB, right? That's really the next big step in adding new people to the ecosystem, new money, if you will. But uh, this was the tweet sent out uh, during the Shiba Swap launch by Shaitoshi. So excited that we're throwing a virtual Shiba Inu party in two weeks featuring an amazing DJ set. And he says the date is 720-721. Still haven't heard any uh, specific details, but here's how it could impact the price. Shiba Inu price has dropped roughly 33% over the past week to where it currently stands at that 06 9.0 level. That was late last night. Again, uh, bought the dip there, and it's looking like it bounced right back off there. And it does have some support at that 0.65 level. Again, we talked about that, and then again, more support down below it. Okay, Investors need to note that an upswing could originate at either of the levels mentioned above. In some cases, Shiba Inu might continue to head lower until it re retests the low range of there it is. That's when I said I would load the boat, that 0.518 level, where the buyers could ignite a rally. So the first target where investors could book profit is the 50% Fibonacci retracement level at the 0870 level, okay? Um, and we've been wa uh, watching that we've got to this quite a bit, that this level, and we haven't been able to break out of it. And, uh, of course, we got to this level on the day of the AMA event, okay? Uh, but it still couldn't couldn't get rid of that zero, if you remember. Uh, it, it, was, it was really close early in the morning. We thought throughout the day that eventually it would happen, and it just stayed in that 09 range. So we'll have to wait and see when that next big catalyst happens, if we can knock out a zero. And I think we will, because I think these catalysts are bigger for new money than Shiba Swamp was. Okay, uh, so similarly, Shiba Inu might uh, appreciate the days leading up to the virtual event on July 20th, but it's likely to dump on the uh, actual event itself. So they're talking about how this could be a similar situation that happened with the Elon Musk and Saturday Night Live uh, incident that obviously influenced and impacted the Dogecoin price. You saw it run up to 73 cents, and it really has never recovered uh, since that time, May 8th, May 9th. But if the buyers fail to push Shiba Inu price higher, reclaim the said level, it will invalidate the bullish thesis and potentially trigger a 20% correction. But this article is pretty bullish on the event, thinking that this move would constitute a 50% run up from the 0625 level if uh, SHIB could tag the lower end of the high probability reversal zone at that 0954 level. So good article out here by uh, FX Street. And uh, these are the two exchanges that we've always talked about, right? These are the these are the big two catalysts looming. Uh, eToro has been super cryptic with their tweets, which is kind of funny. Uh, here you see um, SHIB and, and you know, it, they kind of made it larger than life, if you will, larger than the other um, emojis here, but this is the real big one too. We're still waiting on Coinbase Pro. I think this happens very soon, uh, right around the corner, I think, uh, now that the Certic audit is out. Let me know what you think down below. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.